Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, learn about a design pattern called producer-consumer loop. First of all, to create a producer-consumer loop, we'll click on the file, New, and select the producer-consumer design patterns events template. And as you can see, we have got two loops running in parallel but they have been synchronized using Q, NQ and DQ VIs. The loop on the top is called producer because it generates the data and the loop in the bottom is called consumer loop because it consumes the data and processes it. Now what we are going to do is it contains two events at the moment. One is called NQ element and next one is called stop. First of all, we are going to change the type of the data. We are changing the data type into the double data type. And since we have changed the data over there, we have to change the initial data type into the initialize queue. So in the consumer part, we'll be displaying the data that has been generated from the producer loop. Now we're going to test the code. If we'll run, what we'll see is, since this design pattern contains the event, the event will wait unless it has been triggered. So when we press the NQ element, the data is being passed through the NQ VI, and then the DQ VI will produce in the consumer loop. So again, if we'll press it again, the event is being triggered again and will get the desired data. So now if we'll press the stop, the producer loop will stop. And since the consumer loop does not get any data, it will produce an error and that loop will stop as well. Please like, share and comment in this video. And please subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW training videos. Thank you.